Hey guys, it's Mr. Unknown with a haul video. So uh, I got stuck in Victoria because of dense fog. I had to take the Clipper back instead of the Kenmore float plane. So I went to Value Village. The motto is shop, reuse, and reimagine. Oh, I like that motto sort of how I live my diorama life. So anyway, what did I get? Well, besides going to Valley Village, I went to another thrift store. I can't remember exactly where I got what. Doesn't matter. Here's some of the things. So, check it out. An awesome area rug. Perfect scale. Then I have four of just these plain ones that you could even paint if you wanted. So this is a placemat. That's a good place to look for uh, carpeting and rugs for your dioramas. And then Mr. Unknown is sitting on what I think is maybe a salt and pepper shaker holder. It's a nice little brass thing, but look how great it works as a bench. You sit there and be good. And then I have this uh, card holder, I think it is. Uh, but look at it. You know, we got a cool uh, desk or something. Two bucks. Canadian. Canadian dollar is like 80 cents now of them, but American. So, for, yeah, it's only. So, your American money was worth more. Look at this plastic it could be a display case or shelving unit um, this cool box not sure what I'll use that for but and this is a, this a little um, solar powered uh, calculator I like the case then these things they're some kind of child's toy you can put the numbers in and then you put the number of little pegs in but I thought they would look cool you know on a spaceship or some futuristic thing you could actually put light brights in here so you got a bunch of those um, got a little package of Lego stuff different weapons some heads and I don't, I don't have the instructions. I just gobbled some of this stuff together. Uh, I got this cool box uh, filled with checkers. Uh, I got these cool sticks. And they smell really good. So I don't know if they were some kind of incense things. Or just you're supposed to put them in a jar to perfume the place. Check this thing out. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's... Uh, a light that's controlled by a, um, a motion, or not a motion sensor, but a light detector here, you know. When it's dark, it goes on. So that was cool. A couple of these felt adhesive pads, the other one is right here. Uh, then this major thing in the back, let me put the camera down a second. This is some kind of game, which I think it had foam like ping pong balls that went up because there's air coming out of either each of these and it lights up but i thought man that is cool looking do something with that it's real cheap too so, turn this. sounds pretty obnoxious but then uh came back on the clipper and uh get some food and it, came with this cool uh, tray which of course I saved because it can be used these are things I picked up off the ground I don't know what it's from but this is from some kind of vehicle and then a uh, nice piece of wood um, from a tire or something and these were the straws from my uh, Moscow mule. 
ginger beer craft uh, vodka really smooth it's a specialty drink they serve on the Victoria Clipper I always get one ever since I had the first one um, over here a couple bags of stuff from the upper bathroom this is the second edition might be a diorama challenge here a bunch of black latex gloves that I got from my son-in-law uh, also some shims that he didn't use when he put his new uh, starter on use the old shims and uh, also from his wife my firstborn daughter and firstborn child I have this whole bag of lids so that's about all I got for you for today so that's a little haul from Victoria British Columbia on Vancouver Island won't be seeing much of you for about a week gotta go out of town again so I am out